Hey YouTube, it's your girl Raquel, aka otherwise known as Little Cute Nurse. I'm back with a wig review, and this time I decided to kind of put two things in one instead of making two videos back to back, just to smash two together. Okay, we're gonna review this unit that I'm rocking, y'all. Okay, we're going to review this unit that I'm rocking right now, which is a Bohemian Mix. Uh, Pure Natural is the brand. Pure Natural, but she's a Bohemian hair mixed with synthetic hair. That's what it says. And I didn't really know how I was going to feel about this. I still might pull some baby hairs out. But once I got home, I was in love. So, we're going to stay tuned if you want to see a review for this. And I also reviewed, finally, that... Um, Hourglass foundation and stick is in this video as well. Why well, make two videos and both of these will be short because we know how long it takes. Snap it quick. I love this hair. Can't keep my fingers out of it. I mean, I'm just it's just more than what I, I expected because you know, once you see Bohemian Human Mix, it's uh, mm, yes, baby. This girl here is rocking. So stay tuned for the video if you guys want to check her out. Um, and like I said, just Google for Pure Naturals uh, Bohemian Mixed Hair. And her name is Diana. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. It's right there in the small print. Her name is Diana. Peace out. Y'all have a best, blessed Friday. And hopefully I'll have this video up by Saturday because I'm off. Talk to y'all later. Bye. Okay, y'all. As promised, we're going to get up close and personal with this Hourglass Foundation. Mine is in color... Warm almond. I don't know if you guys can see that. I have used it once. It's my skin's too oily. So what I did was use this microfiber fix miracle blur. And I put my Becca in the T-zones where I know I get oily. Becca doesn't play well with anything else, so it did a little crumbling in places that it shouldn't have touched, but it touched anyway. We're gonna do this. I'm going to use my little fake artiste brush. Yeah, it's fake, but it does what it does. Other than that, I don't have nothing on my face. Just so you guys can see the coverage, if y'all been wondering and wanting to buy it, I can show you the coverage, but as far as the oil, because I'm super oily, it doesn't work. So I'm wearing it today because I'm just going to run to Walmart. Um, oh, go ride some Segways. Probably five, six hours. It's going to be melted off by then. But anyway, let me let you guys see the coverage. I'm just going to put it on my side. And this warm almond has a lot of orange. We'll do this side first. No concealer. Just... Whatever I have to put on my face to try to stay not oily. And it's orange looking. I see it. I see it. But I fixed that. Y'all yeah, saw. It's just, I'm just really orange. Maybe the warm almond is not a good color for me. But to be honest, this foundation just, it doesn't work for me because I'm too oily. So, I like the way it applies, though. And, I mean, I know I'm orange, I know I'm orange. That's the coverage. But, I can kind of fix that. After I go to fix my face and finish my foundation, I can get that orange out of there. That's the coverage. Get past the orange. That's the coverage. Still can see my spots and dots. I'll put some more on there. Just where my spots and dots at. Use my little fake artiste brush. Mm. 
that's what we get. That's where we at. Now, I'm going to go put on me some eyebrows. Finish my face. Let y'all see the final look. But this is just how this foundation comes out. The, the coverage, the feel is really light. Um, and I'm going to say one more time. Right now it looks a bit orange. But once I do my powder to set it, you'll see. I'll be back in a few seconds. Alright. Okay guys, I'm through with the look. See how I kind of calm that foundation down and made that orange pretty much go away. I use my metal mats for my eyes. Uh -huh. My Mac Taraji uh, blush. Of course, my little Geller powder is my everyday. It just brings everything together. Lipstick is this uh, Viva Glam Aria Argande 2. But I wanted a little more color. So I used my Matte Amore in Gorgeous, number 15. And for highlight, I went with my Becca. Becca. Becca palette. The only reason I use it because it's another one of those things that I purchased that I hardly ever use. So I use this one right here. Okay. Now, I gotta go, y'all, so I can get you a wig of you inside of this video and put on some clothes before I go out the door. But I will be right back. One long video. Y'all know I like to talk. So let's just do it once. Alright. See you in a minute. Okay. Hey, guys. This is what the unit looks like. Come to the box like the sticks. It says like this. Bohemian wig. Pure natural, 100% human hair blend. Blend, that's the key word. They used to get me with that, but I know better. Anyway, her name is Diana. Packaged wonderfully in the box. And I don't put where all these wigs from. I'm not trying to send anybody to any particular site. I just Google, and when I find something I like, I get it. But you might can find it somewhere cheaper. So just look for Diana, pure natural, bohemian wig. Okay? She comes like this, packaged beautifully. Beautifully. There's perfect. Look at this little thing. Oh wow, she's long. I didn't know she was that long. But I'm gonna rock her today. Yes, I am. Okay, not real silky. I feel some naps. That's good. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. This is the hang tag. Look, she's in the number two. Hope she looks like that on me. Mm hmm I do. She's Caroline safe. Um, what's to the degrees? Mm, 377 degrees. That's half of it curled and half not. And another pitch. And these are other units that this um, pure natural um, brand runs. This is a HBW Human Bleeding Wig Brazilian Girl. And she's available in a lot of other colors, but I'm cool with number two. <clears throat> I'm going to get the hang tag off of here. Well, let me let you guys see the inside first. Yes, I feel some combs. Two combs on the side, one in the back. And a bra strap right there to adjust the to your size. Now I'm excited, y'all. Let me go get the lace cut off and I'll be right back. Hang tight. I'm back. I did get all the lace cut off. And this is a really soft lace. Not that really rough lace. It's really soft. Kind of like this on the human hair units. And this is about all the parting space you get. So, that's cool. I don't plan on parting in no way. Let me just pop her on. Did I? I did show you inside. Yeah, I showed you inside the cap. I forgot. Okay, I slept a little bit. Okay. Get this pulled down. Could have took a little bit more of the lace off. Pull it back a little bit. Yeah, she blends in really good really good I should have made my little taste of baby hair stick out but I don't see that I need to put a little bit more pump it up on here 
I'm going to try that got to be glued, but for me, the pump it up does it. Oh, I didn't notice that she has some of those little wire tabs right there where you can make her tighter on the sides. And if a strong wind blow, your business ain't all out in the street. Ooh, girl. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> yes. It's about time. I'm trying to cover my grays. As I was saying, I'm going to get some of that got to be glued. Because I like this, y'all. I love this. Yes, yes. My gray is sticking out, though. I need to color my hair. That's my fault, not the wig's fault. I don't remember how much this unit was. I usually keep the tags, but I've been getting so many duds. I mean, keep the receipts from the shipping packages. Oh, I like this. Okay, let me quit showing out. <clears throat> I was gonna spray, I am still gonna spray out because y'all can't see, but I can see these little, little bitty flyaways, so. That's just the uh, wigs and weave natural natural and synthetic weaves extension hairspray, and it just kind of settles the flyaways. Now, see, I could make a part, even just a baby small one right there, but I'm liking this so much. I'm rocking her just like this. Let me turn around so you guys can see the back. Really full, but not too full. You ain't telling me nothing. And it doesn't have that super sicky, silky feeling where you feel like you need to put some um, baby powder or something in it because it's too silky to be our hair. Uh-uh. This feel like somebody took a straightening comb to your hair. Yes. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't need a part. I don't want a part. I like it just the way it is. But if I did, mm -mm. let me zoom in so you guys can see the hairline. That's the hairline. Now, if you, unlike me, and got some pretty good thick baby hairs that you can kind of pull out, and they're not gray, this here, this for you. This is so for you. I think this unit might have been $32 may have been i'm not sure y'all google her like i said it don't matter where i got her from wherever you find that you probably can find her cheaper than what i found but i know i'm gonna get another one just the right length because i don't like that super long hair and no before y'all think no no i'm not gonna curl her no i think i had that hair tucked in under there somewhere in the wig putting it on so quickly but yeah this is she and i'm out Y'all have a blessed, beautiful Friday. Hopefully, I'll get this up Saturday. Talk to you guys later. Yes, if you're thinking, am I feeling pretty? Why, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Bye, y'all.